So now that the movie is done, what do you think? Um, I think there's a lot to be to learn. I think uh, for those that kind of moved to Atlanta in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and compared to where our population is in 2018, I think you learn about who the father of affirmative action. You'll learn more about what now we call diversity and inclusion, the foundations and the templates that were set and the man that died to make uh, equality a part of the fabric of this town and uh, subsequently other, other urban cities as well. How can a young person connect with someone like Maynard who comes from a different era? You know, the, the one thing about Maynard, Maynard had this, he had an opportunity to make a lot of good decisions and bad decisions. You know, he was raised by a single parent. His father died when he was 15. He went to college at age 14 and graduated from Morehouse College at the age of 18. Um, Maynard was a man of principles and character. I think one of the things that the, the young people can understand that it's not enough to, to just protest, but you have to live a very purpose-filled life and live, live life every all the time understanding the 360 way why your vote matters, what the importance of economic opportunity is, and the importance of getting an education. And I think this film really translates those messages into, into what uh, millennials can, can learn from today. So what would Maynard say if he were here today? Maynard would be ecstatic. He would love the fact that people uh, wanted to come out and understand, I think, um, from the very beginning. He has been pushing this from the other side. There's a lot of things that have happened, no matter what you believe. They're undeniable. But I think he would be very, very proud of a city that he died at the young age of 65, what we've grown to be. I think he'd be exceptionally proud of his children and his family. Um, and I, I think he would say, you know, rock them. That was one of his one of his adages. And he would be uh, telling us to make sure that we always act inclusively of one another and to, to be kind in principle. Why should someone see this film? Everyone should see this film. This film is about courage, honor, integrity. It's about not someone that was a politician, but a, a true statesman. And what, how to differentiate those two. I think they'll understand the importance of holding um, truth to power, making sure that our elected and appointed officials remain accountable for everything uh, that they do because they represent us. The same way Maynard represented the people and he made sure that he stayed in the fabric of the community to understand what they need, their needs were.